Big Weather's Big Recipes, sponsored by First Flight Federal Credit Union. Hey guys, it's Big Weather with another edition of Bop, 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 Big Recipes. And last year for your Christmas morning meal, I actually made a thing called Nancy Cinnamon Rolls. I'll put those in the link. It's a great thing to wake up, throw in the oven. Uh, after you're done opening presents, you have some nice fresh cinnamon rolls. But if you don't feel like making that, this is a recipe from my mom. She made it all the time when I was a kid. Maybe I can get this tied. There we go. Uh, she made it all the time when I was a kid, especially on Christmas morning because it's so easy. It's fun for all the kids to make. We're going to make some monkey bread. First things first, we're going to take one apple. We're going to core it, peel it, and slice it. There we go. Now we move on to the biscuits. This is our bunt pan. I sprayed it with a little Pam. This is a perfect recipe to use that old bunt pan you might not have used in a while. Now, the secret to these is, the secret is? Yeah, the secret is. Um, get the cheapest biscuits you can find. I like to buy the store brand. They were out, so I had to buy these little uh, tubes. You need about 18 to 20 of them. And this is why this recipe is so fun to make with kids. Take all the biscuits out of the tube. Now, if you want it to look like it came from Martha Stewart, you would carefully place them in the pan. However, uh, I have children and it's they don't really care how it looks, just how it tastes. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw these in the pan and we'll make our breakfast. Now, before I start adding the next layer of biscuits in, and you want those cheap biscuits, those smaller biscuits, uh, just because don't get the big ones, the big one, unless you want to cut them up, but then you get big balls of dough. So I'm taking some of my sliced apples and I just put them between the layers. That makes it healthy, right? Adding a little fruit. All right, there we go. Now let's move over to the stove. All right, on the stove top, we wanna to add one stick of margarine. I think you could use butter. Um, my mom always used margarine, so that's what I'm used to, what my kids grew up with. To that, we're gonna add one third of a cup of milk. cup of packed brown sugar. Oops. Try and keep it in the pan because, oh, now I gotta clean the stove, hold on. That's gonna smell bad. One teaspoon of vanilla. And now we're gonna get that till it gets nice and bubbly. All right, you can see it's bubbly and my dog is barking. So once it's done being bubbly, take it off and we're gonna immediately pour it. I'm trying to do this two-handed. All over our biscuits. And this whole thing goes in the oven now for 40 minutes at 325. Let's get it in the oven. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven, you can see those biscuits have doubled in size. I let it sit for about five minutes and I like to take it and put it on a plate or a pan, flip it down a little hard. And look at that goodness, yum, yum, yum. So there you go, we got our monkey bread. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. You can see a little bit of that cooked apple in there. Now you can really put anything you want. My mom would put pecans in. We didn't have any, or pecans, depending on your, we won't have that debate here. Uh, but you can put pecans, you can put walnuts. Uh, there's been times I've put pineapple slices in the pan first and a cherry in the middle, then build it all on top and you flip it over. It looks like an upside down pineapple cake, it's delicious. And as to why it's called monkey bread, uh, my mom always said it was because you take it out of the oven and it's so hot that you wanna grab a piece and as you do, you go whoo, 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 and you make a monkey sound, so there you go. Uh, let's take a bite. Mm. And get that creaminess from the margarine and the brown sugar. 
melt them. I love the apples. It adds a nice twang to it. As a matter of fact, the cooked apples are delicious. And it's so fun to do. And if you want to tear them apart before you throw them in, you get more pieces or you can get big pieces like this. That's the fun about making this. Hopefully on Christmas morning, you throw this together with the kids and you have a great little breakfast snack. I hope you have a very happy holiday, a very Merry Christmas. And as for me, mm, that boodily. Thanks, Mom.